40, 30, 20, 10 of the following. Row cows, air squats, sit-ups, and deadlifts. This is one of those workouts where if you kind of remember the pacing chart that I posted on a Wednesday, it's uh, anywhere between, I would probably start off anywhere between 80 and 85% effort on the first set of 40s on everything. Meaning that you guys should be able, if I ask you a question, you probably should be able to answer me in maybe three to five words, maybe one word. Um, the most difficult part of this workout, I believe, is going to be the deadlifts. Uh, I have had one other person test this workout earlier, and they did say the deadlifts were probably the, the most difficult part of the workout. So that's probably where you're going to want to spend uh, the most amount of time breaking. Uh, the row for calories, obviously, you're going to stay on the rower for all the cows, no matter what. Air squats, again, keep moving. It's something, it's a very simple movement, but please do that with quality. And then finally, the sit-ups and then the deadlifts. Um, one thing that I like to tell myself, especially when I'm doing a long workout like this, is that I don't worry about the big chunks of reps that I'm doing. I worry more about the rest that I'm minimizing. So even if I do a set of five deadlifts, if I take only five seconds to rest, that's better than me cranking out a set of 20 and then just kind of standing there for 30 seconds to a minute. That's kind of counterproductive. So it's always better, especially in long workouts, is to worry about just small breaks, small breaks. So uh, no matter how you break it up mentally, uh, you can do it however you like, but try and keep your rest periods five seconds or under i know that's going to actually be really hard and you don't actually don't realize how frequently or how long you are resting until you actually count yourself down so that's one thing i like to do with long workouts it helps me keep moving is that i will either drop the bar or hop off the pull-up bar or just stop and then just say five four three two one go and then when you get deeper into the workout start counting down from three so let's say you're in your tens and you do five deadlifts go three two one go and just pick it up again okay um you want to increase your pace during this workout as well. So again, like I said, start at about 80 to 85%. You're definitely going to crank it up to around 97%. Um, it's going to be hard because you probably won't have a lot of gas left to do a true 100%. A true 100% is like if I told you to echo bike for 15 seconds <laughs> for max cows and you're only doing it once. It's very hard to have that kind of output, especially when you already did uh, 40, 30, and 20 reps so far. So your effort's going to be more about 97%. So give it all you got in that last set of 10 and uh, work on your pacing. And today, try that little trick. Just count down from five or count down from three, whatever you guys need to do to just keep moving. Good luck. Have fun.